Hello, welcome back to another episode of Grade This. First up is X Men Twenty Five. Okay, let's take a look. So it's just the wares on top of this book alone is enough to knock it down to about seven. Okay, and then you can see some light creases across the M and on top of the N some more creases on the edges okay and corners and then the spine the weight at the spine is pretty heavy okay it's um, a lot of wares there so at the best I would say the front would be a 5.5 at best just look at the front okay at best more so closer to five in my opinion but let's take a look at the back cover first off there's a chunk missing there at the top of the spine and then the marker the marker is not a big deal the stain on the top the water damage the moisture damage on the top left is a bigger issue than the marker you know marker at mid grade or low grades doesn't impact as much it does impact a little okay I'm not saying it doesn't but not as much compared to say high grade but there's also handwriting this person like his book enough to write it both in pencil and marker it's also another stained spot there by the right side next to the spine so uh, the front cover is at best of five you add on the flaws that I just pointed out on the back covers and I say this book is a 4 in my book okay I would rate this as a 4 next up Spider-Man 14 for those that are familiar with grading raw books with a picture or scan you know yellow is very hard to grade because yellow hides flaws very well uh, on top of that this scan doesn't zoom in as much so I can barely see a light crease on the top right corner barely who knows what's going on with the overhang I can see that the overhang causes light creases in the blue area on the top left right so who knows if there are small creases and tears in the top edges top edge of the yellow area so who knows I can't tell there's some light creases on the spine in the blue area that you can see next to the wait till you see right you can see that the, the rest of the edge of the books who knows based on the picture if it's not trim who knows who knows right hard to tell based on the picture the back of the book very clean nothing wrong there just some light tanning assuming that there is no restoration as far as trimming okay assuming I don't uh, I can't say you know book like this when I see a razor sharp corner on the bottom edge like that always cause for concern and then the edge of the book just doesn't seem to line up right just take a look on the where the boxes say the hook okay look at the blue area it seems like it's not a straight line up the edge of the book it just seem off to me okay some seem a little bit off kilter not straight but good luck to the buy the sad thing is, okay, well, as far as grade, okay, I will give this book, based on assuming no restoration, 8.5, okay, based on what I can see, but who knows what's going on with the top edge of the book, that could be worse, but based on what I can see, I cannot give this book higher than an 8.5. Um, the sad thing is, this seller, Collector Dungeon, is the same seller is this listing here and it was a big scam okay I got a, a couple people email me a bunch of books because he listed 
something like 200 items that ended on September 27th. And I believe every single person that emailed me with questions on books did not get the book. This person scammed everyone. Look at that, 40 negative feedback, okay? All happened within the last few weeks because of that listing. I did a quick math on his listing of the 200 or so items, everything. He had keys galore. Something like $45,000 of items was auctioned off on September 27th. 45,000. Insane, okay? Sad. Let's go real quick to his soul listing. It's everything from shoes to iPad, iPhone, all kind of stuff. Look at that. All kinds, like I said, if you go through, you know, even like a house of secret, you name it, 200 plus items. Scam. Oof. The kind of thing that make you wonder, you know. Here's one. What do you think? Look at how sharp this cover is. Are you kidding me? Okay. Are you kidding me? Take a look at this back cover. You wanna see something that's make you laugh? Take a look at this. You tell me a near mint plus cover have an interior <laughs> that look like that. Just look at the tears where the staple is, okay? There is zero, zero question in my mind that this is a reproductive cover that is glued on to a, a low-grade coverless book. Zero doubt in my mind. The stupidity of some people. My God. Unreal. But please, folks, if you see something like this, red flags, red flags, run. Here's another one that caused a concern for me. Look at this razor sharp book. It's slightly miswrapped, okay? Slightly, but look at this. Once again, razor sharp edge and corner. For those that are familiar with this book or have this book, when is the last time you see a book, a copy of this book, where the origin is cut off like that, where the end is almost cut in half. You're missing one third of the word, you know, the last end on origin. When is the last time? Pull out your copy. I pull up another book that have an even uglier wrap, okay, to show you. There you go. The end is not cut at all, barely to the edge of the cover. So does that mean that this book is restore, trim? I don't know. You tell me. My advice is, you know, whenever you see a book, high grade, razor sharp edge, do your homework. You have to see and compare the book. There is no exact science to detect trimming. No exact science because if you have 10 copies of Marvel Premiere 15 stacked together, I guarantee you they all be a little bit different sizes. Could be up to a quarter inch difference as far as the dimension of the book, both horizontally and vertically. So you can't say with definite 100% but when something is this odd, okay, it's raised red flags to me big time. Because this is big, big discrepancy. So as far as grade, cannot give the grade to that one either. Uh, just as the Spider-Man annual, no way. I wouldn't touch it. I don't know. 
but good luck to the winner if you win it i hope you do your checking okay because who knows the book may be maybe not trimmed at all and is completely okay i'm just saying that when i see something like something like that it raised big big red flags last but not least this x-men 2 This is actually a really well center book, okay? Look at that. For the early X-Men book that have the word, the strangest superheroes of all, man, a lot of time, it is not well cut. Not straight like that. And the, the comic code is not cut, nice. Really nice. Okay, so this little creases here and there. Okay, it looks like there is a, a corner crease that could be about two inches on the bottom corner. Okay, it's light, but you can see it. And then look like there are some tears at the spine. It's a lot of wears at the spine. Okay, so the front, if I look at the front like this with a two inch corner crease, okay, for those that know my uh, max rule of rating, when I see a crease like that, automatically seven is the highest it can be okay automatically but then when you look at the rest of the wares tears the front look like about a five to me okay because there's just too many wares going on at the spine okay along with the two inch corner crease can it be a 5.5 or 6? Maybe, but assuming the back cover is clean. The, the, the crease pencil, not a big deal. So right now, the front, I give this thing 5, okay? Because I think there's a spine split. 5.5 at best. Let's take a look. Better pictures? The corners are great. Look at this. It's too bad the rest of the book is not like this, right? The right edges is nice. There you go. There you see the, the tears at the spine. Let's take a look and see. Okay, nice picture. There's some tanning and browning and yellowing but still pretty nice quality page quality that's for sure center full see this is a very good example of a listing with good clear pictures okay i love to see listing like this i wish more listing of free books showed you this kind of pictures back cover let's see okay Nothing bad. Nothing bad at all. Okay. The back covers, the, the, the few flaws on the back covers is nothing more that will knock this book lower than a 5 for me. I'm okay with giving this book a 5.0 in my opinion. Can it be higher? Maybe. But as a buyer, I would not bid higher than... 5.0. That's it for this greatest. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.